everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. We're about just doing Hebron cries out. And Nigerians react is her husband call out to Ma who fix his voice to do this. This money, to Abraham's husband, call out Leah Jamie, found out from a friend of his that a person, a man, has been using his family's name for fraud by using the online banking app of OP. Her husband took to his official social media platform to make an announcement and he shared that, So, I found out this money from a friend of mine that this person has been using my family's names for fraud. Be aware, guys. This is not me. Because I'll never beg for money on any social media, no matter the situation. Please, check the second and last slide. For the first slide, he shared the voice note of the man who was saying in the voice clip, trying to mimic Kola Oli's voice. And the man was saying it in the clip that, oh, the family is okay, we thank God, and Twain is even here saying hi to you. For the second slide, he shared, this was a conversation between the man who is calming people and one of the people who fell victim to his skin. This was the message he shared. Uh, apparently, they had greeted each other. He said that he just said he should collect something for his birthday, meaning that the man should chip in some money, give him money. After this, he sends his account details of OP Bank, and the account number is 814-254-3496. And he wrote his particularly there as if the account details name was Toy Abraham Ajayemi. And for the last slide, it had his number plus 234-814-592-4951, which was saved as caller GME. And of course, the couple called out OP Bank to do something about this. Joey Abraham also took to our own official social media platform to share this with our millions of followers on social media so that they will not fall victim of this and also to call out the bank. But how can they allow someone to open an account to them? With her name. So on calling out the bank, they found out that even though the man is using her name and her husband's picture to defraud people, but the name on that account is a different name and not his name. So this was exactly what she said. So we found out the name on the account is a different name and the person is using my name and my husband's picture to defraud people. But the name on the account is different name and not my name. Thanks to pay for responding on time and helping us. Please. Do not ask for money or anything from anyone. Do not fall victim, please. Obi also sent in a reply to Tony Abraham as she called them out. And they specifically stated in their message that it has been confirmed that the details on the wallet, the name of the person is Taye Alabi Ayo, and not Tony Abraham at GME. So this should have been clear to anyone who was sending funds to the wallet, as the name do not tally. However, it seems some people already fell for this. Many Nigerians are reacting to this. Someone stated that even though the man tried to mimic Kola Oli's voice, but his voice does not sound exactly like Kola Oli Ajayemi's voice. Another person, a man, Moruf Moshuda Dida Mola, also commented and said that he told Kola Oli on phone when he was in Kenya that he sent money for ID and other things. He was also scammed. Someone with the handle Yagbumina also commented and said that it is easy to get Ope's account number. Because it is the same number as the phone number. Just add the account number with zero and track the person till you are able to reach or catch the person. And some are also saying that they should bombard this man's number who is scamming people in the family's name. There are several other reactions like this. So please beware of fraudsters and also inform other people. For recent news on the family, please stay with us. But I reported that a man apologized to Tony Abraham and her husband for doubting their marriage would work from the beginning when they first got married. This was when she was celebrating her husband's birthday. It was on the 17th that she celebrated his birthday. And the man who goes at the name Baba D. Lubitu commented and said, Congratulations to your husband, Tony. I was one of those who doubted you guys' compatibility. You both proved me wrong, and for this, I am sorry. As it is, a lot of people hide side comments. And we saw a lot of comments on social media platform, especially in 2019. Also, Tony Abraham addressed some of the side talks when she was celebrating her husband. And she wrote, Kola Ole, you have never been intimidated by anything about me. You have always accepted me for who I am. You protect me. You adore me. You lead me right. You love me. There is nothing you told me to do that has turned out to be a mistake. Okomi, you give me so much peace. You allow me to be me. Let me be my whole self. You enjoy my company when I'm being me. You never try to change or clip my wings. You push me to be me. 
before anything else. We love our children so deeply and I love you so much for coming. For more recent news on Toy Abraham, please stay with us. In a recent interview, Toy Abraham opened up. This was in an interview with the truth. About the time she was in depression, in a depressing state. That was a dark time. As I had earlier mentioned, Tony is one of the celebrities who are open about their life challenges. Everything that had gone on in the past. There was a time she was really depressed and even thought of committing suicide. While recounting her experience, she revealed that being depressed made her abandon her family and led her into smoking cigarettes, which is unacceptable in a Christian home. Tony grew up in a Christian home. Her mother is a pastor. And in that interview, she said that at some point in my life, my manager had to get me a counsellor because I was depressed, but lived in denial. I was not happy and very scared of life. It was that bad that I thought of swimming or jumping from the third mainland bridge and hoping someone would save me. I confided in people and they used it against me, half of the unknown. My thoughts filled with negative things. It was hard for me to trust people then because the people I had around me didn't even know how to keep things secrets. I'm from a Christian home, but had to avoid them because I started smoking cigarettes. I detached myself from my family because I thought I was going to die soon and didn't want them to miss me. I had to change everybody around me, had a different mentality to rediscover myself. When you're depressed, you don't know what you're capable of doing. Immediately, I overcame all of that. I redesigned my life to be my best version. I got over my fears with the help of my manager and counselor. You have to go through fire to have the finest things. So Abraham is a star actress, producer, and a director who made a directing debut in the year 2021, just last year. She's known for blockbuster movies, and she's also known as the queen of comedy. Some of the movies she has featured and include The Ghost and the Tao 2, The Therapist, The Prophetess, Fate of Alaka, Dad, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven. Two weeks in Lagos, The Millions, Casanova, Bling the Goshens, Nimbe, Diamonds in the Sky, The Ghost and the Tout, Seven and a Half Dates, These Guys, What Just Happened, Alakada Eluded, Esui, Hakonde Mentally, Tattoo, London Fever, I've destroyed the revolution, Celebrity Marriage, Okafor's Law, What Makes You Think, Loves in the Hair, Alaniba Balabake, Ebimini, Alakada, Shalapiok, Mami, Dube, Dube, Mbo, The Shadow Party, just to mention a few of them. So these are some of the movies of Tony Abram. They've come to the end of the episode where Tony Abram cries out and Nigerians react as her husband call out the man who fakes his voice to do this. Please do not fall a victim. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.